Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is your friendly neighbourhood, Weep the Eisenberg here. And tonight, I'm reviewing the mother and son isekai called Do You Love Your Mum and Her Two Hit Multi Target Attack. So, today's episode was about basically a, them getting a party together. Now, everyone that Masato wanted, basically, her his mum came up with a a reason why he doesn't want she doesn't want her in her team. I was like, okay, and they came to an elf character, and it's obvious why. The son wanted her in the party. Uh, if you watch the episode, you'll see why. Um, also, before we continue, I'll need to mention that round about the middle of the episode, uh, it gets a little bit uh, hey, for mature for mature audiences. Basically, eighteen. And it becomes an 18 in rating, in rating, because something happens, and I'm not gonna say what, you'll have to watch it. But I suggest you only do that if you're above the age of 18. Now, back to what was going on. Um, this is one of the people that the mum had decided to take on board. Uh, because obviously she's got very basic skills um, but she's not good at fighting and the woman turns around and she goes oh great well not not all great but in her own words she's basically saying well yep you're, you're in and you can be my my, <laughs> my son's bride and this character here she's like yeah, I'll be his bride. And he's like, he's like, wait a minute, wait a minute. And basically, this is why she chose the mum chose that character to join the party. Because uh, it, it makes her, it made made her sad to think how happy she was with the, with those vacuum sealing bags. Uh, basically, <laughs> she said, "Oh, great! Yeah, you're like a wa you're like a walking coupon." Basically, meaning that because this the pink-haired girl that joined them is a merchant, a traveling merchant thing character. She's like, well, what was I thinking that? She'll be able to get like stuff for free, or next in year free. It's such a cheap price that worth having her on the team. Uh, and yeah, you can see how savage the mum is here when she. This is what she does to every single person that her son chooses to be part of the party. There's not many of these that she holds up. There's plenty of the other one on on the other side. She's got a cross, and that cross she holds up to quite a lot of them. And uh, when someone comes in, she's like, "Oh, quite the wee pink-haired lassie." She she flips this side run, and I'm like, "Okay." Now this is the final member of the party for now. A fifteen-year-old girl called Wise. Now she, uh, what we don't know the now is that's actually the person there in the interview. She's trans. <laughs> what she, what Wise has done, is she's turned herself into this piece of paper because she's actually in that picture, kind of like a moving portrait kind of thing. Uh, 
uh, and this is the scene also where the son is like no and I know what type of girl she is and I don't want her in my party so he scrunches up the paper throws it away and it unfolds and flies back at him as if to say you're not getting rid of me that easily it's quite comedic actually and he gets to the point where he's like to hell with this and stomps on the paper but as he does that what the hell are you doing jerk you jerk basically why he just had an offer being trampled on and she she just basically bursts out of the paper in a big magic spell to which she later kind of just like she's so annoyed that she just uses a teleport spell on the sun and they're teleported away way outside the where they're holding it, the, uh, the, the, building, the building they're in which is quite funny now this is where the age 18 stuff happens it's just standard kind of a blob monster that has um, a certain acidic property to its attack and yeah it's a very very bad slime for what it does and I'm not saying any more you will need to watch this to figure out why and what it does it's a little bit too kind of well in your face and a bit too much and a bit awkward Um, I'll just leave it at that um, so why he's finally why he's finally manages to get a spell off after being sealed Joker, about two of and she gets sealed her magic gets sealed hey, two times um, but obviously this time she manages to uh, chant the spell and fire off or may our spell at the slime to get it. Um, but I think she gets sealed one last time, so she can't use any more magic. I think. And obviously, then the hilarity ensues after the event with the slime guy here and uh, the mom character. And uh, that's not. I'm just going to leave it at that. Because if I get into it, it's going to make this video age restricted. Yeah. I can see why. I can see why this uh, divided the. divided the fan base about this anime with that particular scene. Um. Although I will say that they didn't, they do shove it in your face, but it's not right in your face, like, here, look at it, if you know what I mean. It's, if you immediately know what's going on from the way she's talking, you'll immediately figure out what's going on. Uh, and that's all I'm going to say about it. Um, they managed to defeat the creature, this one here in the picture. Um, and the purple-headed girl is there, so they have to revive her, and she's like, oh yeah, I'm a nun, and uh, your reward is somewhere, I mean, I didn't catch what she was saying because she was talking so fast, um, but the end of the day, this episode was a bit awkward in the middle, because they kind of shoved that scene in your face the made you pay and made and, and the way she was talking it made you pay attention to it when you didn't want to um but I, near the end of the episode they managed to get to a market where the mum was going absolutely how can I say crazy over cooking and cooking ingredients um and that's kind of where they left off. So it's kind of... First two episodes have kind of been like really random. 
like kind of will tell you this and then it'll go right kind of boring oh wait a minute it's nice again and it's boring oh wait a minute it's boring oh wait a minute random thing random thing random thing random 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 quiet boring random random so it's basically from the first two episodes It's basically saying that it's hyperactive. Yeah. And um, I think I shall leave it there. Hopefully though, when they can uh, couple more episodes in, when we get more story, it'll be a little less kind of like randomness. I hope they keep it though the randomness in but I hope they have an actual story to it and I hope to god to bring it on English dub so at least I can sit down and watch it and listen to it properly because I find that these new animes when they first come out it's in Japanese and it's like you're spending half the episodes looking at what they're saying in the, the subtitles and you miss half of what's going on on the screen but anyway, hopefully it gets better by a couple more episodes. Fingers crossed. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Um, like I said, sorry there wasn't enough to talk about in this video. Mainly because there was an awkward scene right in the middle of it that you need to watch. If you're over the age of 18. No, yeah, I'll just say, uh, what this is. Yeah. <laughs> Can I, this is the only anime that's actually made me speechless. I'm not sure what to say about it. Yeah. I can see why Chibi Reviews, a, another YouTuber that I watch when he reviews new animes, when he reviewed the uh, episode 2, I was like, I seen the thumbnail and he wasn't sure he's I seen the thumbnail and from what he said um, I agree with what he said about this anime but anyway what I'll do in this video is I'll put a link in the description to GB reviews and if you can subscribe to him give him some more subscriptions that'll be great and just uh, Say, say to him from me that I sent you, Theta Eisenberg sent you, sent me to you. So, yeah. But, I also remember, if you want to, subscribe to me as well, if you want. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Goodbye.